don't go now. It's a very bad ice year. If you go now, you'll get stuck. You must wait. You must wait until the ice breaks up. Wait until February or even March and then go. So Shackleton waited. Uh, he waited for uh, a couple of days and then he waited for a week. But he was a very impatient man. And but in the meantime, his team had to look around South Georgia, Frank Hurley climbing mountains, taking photographs. <laughs> Uh, exploring further afield in the island and so on. But Shackleton's patience ran out and only four weeks later, he set off against the whaler's advice on the 5th of December. <coughs> and only two days later, <coughs> to his amazement, they hit ice, sea ice, pack ice. And they were able to push through it a little bit and find a little bit of open water and then more pack ice and then maybe another little bit of water and then even more dense ice. And for weeks, uh, for some time, they uh, forced their way through the sea ice as much as they could. And you can see the uh, course as they tried to plow through the ice and get to the Antarctic continent. And his goal was to reach here, Vassal Bay, which Filchner had discovered. Uh, this inlet that would take him uh, on the route he wanted to go towards the South Pole. And you can see the difficulty of passing through these great plates of sea ice. Uh, you had to go high up in the rigging and look for leaks, uh, look for open channels of water. They had an auxiliary engine powered with coal, steam engine, but it wasn't very strong. Uh, although it was very important and they would try to batter their way through the leads. And uh, I, either a lookout up there or Frank Hurley himself with his movie camera recording it all 